and good evening. As of tonight, the NICU at Roanoke Memorial Hospital is closed to visitors, including the parents. That means moms and dads dealing with that especially difficult experience will only be able to see their newborns or the doctors treating them through video chat at certain points during the day. Carillion says they made this unprecedented move to protect the babies from possible coronavirus exposures. And 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live tonight. He's outside the hospital. Shane, uh, this has to be absolutely devastating to families. John and Brittany, we can only imagine the pain and anxiety that parents are feeling in this exact moment right now while they are at home or somewhere else away from their babies here at the hospital. But hospital leadership say this was the decision that had to be made for the safety of everyone in the face of the coronavirus outbreak, but they are working to lessen the burden. We just brought our twins home last week, so we're still getting used to, to that. If you're a parent, you know how lucky we were to get a few minutes with Beth and Jonathan Carlin. Jonathan's dad is our own John Carlin, and their Nick and Nate just spent eight weeks in the NICU at Roanoke Memorial. Their first son, Luke, was a NICU baby, too, so this time around, they were pros. With our first son, it was very stressful all the time. You're like, oh, I just I want to be there. I want to, you know, go to as many care times as possible. But even with the experience, they know other NICU parents are dealing with even more now. On Tuesday, Carillion Clinic shut down the NICU to everyone, including moms and dads, because of the coronavirus outbreak. So you can imagine how hard it was for us to make this decision, but we did so because we know that we need to protect those vulnerable babies our community and our health care providers. The historic restrictions are sure to put a strain on new parents navigating the anxiety of caring for a NICU baby. Carillion says it will coordinate milk drop off and provide ways to stay connected. Live stream video and also uh, interaction with the care team through live streaming video the latest technologies to really be able to have them have some meaningful interaction. The Carlins miss the restrictions by less than two weeks, but they say other parents can trust the decision. I'm sure it's so hard to be leaving them there, but they really are in like the best hands possible and um, it hopefully will feel like just a tiny blip of your life together. There are no timelines for when these restrictions will be lifted. Now, for regular labor and delivery, Carillion is still just limiting moms to one visitor during their entire stay, including during childbirth. Live in Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. Thank you, Shane. When it comes to Lewis Gale, one visitor is allowed during childbirth, but the hospital says that person must undergo a health screening and the visitation rules could change at any time because of the virus.